What's up guys, back for another video, and we're back for uh, one of your guys' favorite videos. We're gonna go over the Pridwin tier list. Now, this one's a little crazy because they fully revamped it. It is completely different, which... You can't hear me clapping because it would be too loud, but I'm happy, I'm happy. So we're gonna see like this updated stuff first before we get into the tier list. Um, category and tags, damage dealer, special loss, and fire sustain, okay. Tags sit in three categories, Pro Kongs and Arch Chive, which are the most defining features of a character's kit. Okay. Break, debuff, dot, fall up attack, advance, buff, delay, energy, SP plus, and SP minus. Um, then we have Apex characters, which are tier 0 and tier 0 0.5 characters in this bracket, are the cream of the crop. They do outrageous amounts of damage, provide massive buffs or debuffs, or keep the team alive no matter what what the enemy throws at them. They simply can achieve the best, most consistent and accessible results in their best teams, allowing you to clear easily clear MOC in pure fiction. Meta characters are 1, 1.5, 2. Um, okay. And niche is tier 3 and 4, and the front ones are tier 5, aka I'm assuming they suck. Gotcha. Half tiers. To further define the tier list and correctly represent the power level of each character in relation to each other, we have added half tiers to the higher tier brackets. Okay. Yeah, it made it difficult to... Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Criteria. Uh, manual play. Use optimal team. Composition support characters. Characters level 80. All major traits and lock skills upgrade level 8. Characters equipped to level 80. Non-limited 4-star or 5-star light cone. I think this is hard to gauge. Because, like... There's a lot of light cones out there that are way better for certain characters than other ones. Like, if you're limiting yourself to only non-limited light cones, then... You know, something like the Destruction Light Cone is going to work a lot better for someone like, um, like Clara, or, um, I guess Destruction is bad because that one's just, like, good overall, right? Um, let's do, like, the Break Effect one, right, from Herda. So, like, the Break Effect one obviously is going to work a lot better on someone like Luca than it probably is someone like Gwenyphon. Right, because Luka wants to break when I fins. Not, I mean, you could run on her, but you guys get what I mean, right? There's a lot of characters that are, work a lot better. Uh, here, a good option is the one that just dropped for Akron is a crit rate, crit damage one, and that's one's gonna look a lot better on Welt and Akron than it is going to look on someone like you know, like I said, Luca or Gwenyphon or Sampo, right? That's more dot. Uh, this is all the same. I think this is all the same too. All right, let's just get into it. So they still have Pure Fiction. They still have Emery. Okay, awesome. That's cool. Um, tier 0 is Acheron, Adventuring, and Fushuan. Okay. Tier 0 0.5 is Donhang, Jinglu, Black Swan, Kafka, Robin, Runmei, Sparkle, and Falco. Okay. Tier 1 is Ratio, Topaz, Tingyun, and Locha. I'm just gonna continue. Uh, Clara, Jingyun, QQ, and Zaylia 1.5, Bronya, Silver Wolf, and Gallagher. Tier 2 is Blade, Luca, Sampo, Jue, Pela, Bailu, Jeopard, Lynx. Okay, tier 3 is. <laughs> Yikes, Argenti. Uh, Misha, Serval, Gnifen, Welt, Asta. Okay. Hanya, uh, Tier 4, Dunhang, Herda, Himiko, Hook, Yancheng, Sushang, Fire MC, Yukong, March, Natasha, and then Tier 5 is Arlen and the Physical Trailblazer. Okay. Hmm. Let's go over this before we go to Perfection. Akron, fine. Tier 0. Specialist, fair. Amplifier, that's also fair. Uh, Fushuan, Adventuring, that's fair. That's fair. I think I think Fushuan high key is 0 0.5 and Adventuring is 0, in my opinion. Because uh, there's stuff that Fushuan can't do that Adventuring can easily. Uh, but I guess Fushuan heals, I guess. Uh, then we have Donhang and Jing Loon, 0 0.5. That's fine. Black Swan and Kafka are fine. Robin and them, I think, are fine. Woho being in 0 0.5. That's fine, too. Ratio being in Tier 1. I, I see the vision. I like that. Topaz, fine. Luocha, that's fine. We're going to talk about the Tengen stuff. Uh, Clara, Jingyun, QQ, and Sparkle, sure. I think... 
I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like these group of five characters are hard to rank, right? I do think Blade doesn't deserve tier two. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think Blade doesn't deserve tier two. I think if you're gonna put him in tier two, you have to put other characters in tier two as well. Um maybe like QQ or Jing Yun or Zayla, whoever it may be, whoever you want to put there, right? You can you could probably argue it. I'm not trying to get into that right now. I don't have Zayla, so I feel like I'll be especially biased towards her. I have the craziest yawn building up. One sec. Okay, that's crazy. I literally muted my mic and the yawn went away. There's actually no way. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I could argue this for like literally 30 minutes, so we'll just ignore that. Blade is being underrated, though. Branya in 1.5. Under Tingyan is crazy. Like the actual fall off these characters, according to Pridwin, according to Pridwin, are crazy because remember when Silver was like a must summon, and everyone wanted Branya. To be fair, who is yeah no care like Clara? Like, Clara is on her tier. Every other standard banner character is here, 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 here. So I guess like that's not like too bad, I guess. But hmm. I guess it is E6 Tingyun. I don't know, man. I think Branya is still so good. Like, also, is there a thing for cleansing? No, it isn't. Advance, break, debuff. Yeah, they don't have a cleanse thing. That's weird. They should add a cleanse thing because people need to really consider that with Branya as well. Silverwolf, I can see it, right? She's not as neat as she once was. Gallagher being above these three, big W though. Um, these guys are fine. She's fine here in tier two. Uh, I actually say Payless 1.5. High key. Uh, Bailu, Jeopard, and Lynx. I think they're fine there. I actually really like, I think Bailu, high key. If you give Bailu a cleanse on her E or her ultimate, I'm telling you, she's like up here past Locha. I'm not even kidding. The healing when you get hit and the small damage reduction and the revive is actually insane the only reason she's as bad as she is because she's on a cleanse if we get a light cone that cleanses i promise you bailu is actually shooting way up here it's gonna be crazy um argenti sure 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 this is like a whole can of worms the things that bother me the most are probably welt really sampo is above one knife in. really I've always been under the impression that Gwenaifen is better. Because while Sampo has a better... I think it was the ult, right? That increases dot damage taken over Gwenaifen's just damage taken. The multiplier is better, bigger on Sampo, but Gwenaifen can be used more universally. I don't know. I, I, I literally have not used Sampo in so long, and I have not used Gwenaifen enough. But I always felt like Gwenaifen was better. Uh, Welt being tier 3, low-key kind of crazy to me. I don't in any universe see Luca being better than him. I'm sorry, Luca fans. I understand Luca can do some good-ass damage, but Welt just has a lot more going for him, and that's crazy. I mean, I guess it's E0, so I guess most of his damage is not there, but still, like, really? I don't know about all that. Was he lower? Was Welt lower before? I can't remember. Uh, everything else seems like okay. The major ones I have an issue with are Welt, Branya, Tingyun, Blade, kinda. Everything else looks fine. Okay, this is a perfection. Okay, heard heard a 100% deserves tier 0. Okay, this is good. This is good. Good, 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 good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Mm, that's fine, actually. That's fine. This is fine. Really? It's really Asta. Really? I mean... No, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Tier 3. Yeah, that's fine. Um... High key? High key? Maybe Jue up one tier, because I think she... Eh, no, because they're all single target. I actually don't mind this. I actually don't mind this. I don't mind the pure fiction one. Like, at all. Which is crazy. Maybe you could argue Jinglu and Zele in 1.5 because Zele has action advance and Jinglu has some really hard hitting AoEs. Uh, but 
Yeah, no, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. I like this. I actually like the Pure Fiction one. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, yeah, just a memory cast. Also, I, I like this. I like this new how it looks a lot better. I think some glaring issues with it, though, are definitely we need more tags. We need uh, cleanse, right? Cleanse needs to be a thing. Um, I think healing is fine not being a thing. But definitely having a cleanse is important to add. Which the people who cleanse would be March, Natasha, uh, Lynx, Gallagher, Luocha, Ho Ho, Branya. Am I missing anyone else? I don't think I am. Uh, units who cleanse others. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think it's just these two. Lynx, Gallagher, Luocha, Ho Ho, and Branya. Yeah, no, they de they should definitely add that. Should they should definitely add cleansing, and my blade doesn't have follow up that. Interesting, but they do. Yeah, okay, so they they're still probably tweaking out a couple things. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there. Well, not yeah, no, not too much wrong with this tier list. I like how it's laid out. I do think that they need a third one. They need a like a general use tier because this changing every time that Maria Chaos Perfection always bothers me. I think they need a pure don't look at the buffs of Emory Chaos, don't look at whatever Perfection is boosting right now because that's going to sway where a character is. They need a general tier list, which I think would be pretty easy to make. I'm not going to lie, I feel like if you get enough people together, they can agree on a lot of things unanimously, such as like Akron being tier zero, Adventuring being tier zero. Like these two being a tier below, I think it, it's pretty easy to get a universal general tier list going. But then that, that'll be it for the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Pridwin uh, is uh, terrible? Do you think they're pretty good? Do you like their new changes? Do you hate their new changes? Let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. We should be doing a Akron Light Cone comparison next, I hope. Um, if not, then, I mean, there's probably something else exciting coming. So, yeah, you should hit that subscribe button.